Uh, my thoughts on medical applications within the 3D printing industry is actually it's very positive for one. Uh, I know that in the past, uh, especially when 3D printing started getting a lot of uh, 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 just general buzz, that you know you started hearing things about uh, 3D printed guns and things like that. So you know that was kind of putting a negative spin on things. I, I really like to see the uh, the medical applications that are out there. Uh, in the past, I think my first experience with uh, medical applications and 3D printing was seeing. Uh, when you know, doctors or, or people would use CT scans to uh, scan, say, a, a disformed uh, skull, and they could uh, 3D print a plate to put in it and reduce the time of surgery and uh, the risk to the patient overall. So uh, what we're beginning to see now is just more and more applications in the medical field from 3D printing. There's also a lot of uh, cool technologies going on with, like, uh, the materials themselves, whether they're going to be one day 3D printing actual tissue uh, for implanting into the body, uh, realizes, I guess, contribution to the medical field so far with 3D printing would be more on the device side of things. Um, uh, we have made several uh, devices uh, at the prototype stage, and we've also made prototypes for implants, uh, parts that do go into the body. Of course, our parts don't go into the body, they'll be made uh, in production down the road. Uh, again, so we're involved more on the prototype level, but um, I definitely see applications for 3D printed parts directly used in whether it's surgeries or implants uh, down the road and I'm sure in some capacity they're being used uh, today. Well our concerns here at Realize is we are more of a, a general shop and you kind of see we've got a dozen machines here and we're making uh, parts from consumer electronics one day to automotive the next day to medical one day. So we keep all of our machines pretty uh, generally set up. And uh, I think what we would have to overhaul if we were to really get into more of a um, hardcore medical um, piece of it would be to you know, really identify one or two machines that that's all it's gonna run. We'd really have to um, you know, work on the certification of the materials, making sure uh, there's no cross-contamination between resins, between machine parts, things along that line. So, I mean, there, there's a lot that we would have to do to get involved more along that line of things.